Sealtel gives 2 HCl. A chemical compound always contains same elements combined together in same proportion of mass. Ice H2O 1 ratio 8. River H2O 1 ratio 8. Sea H2O 1 ratio 8. Objectives Dimensional Analysis Often while calculating, there is a need to convert units from one system to other. The method used to accomplish this is called factor label method or unit factor method or dimensional analysis. Laws of chemical combination The combination of elements to form compounds is governed by the following five basic laws. Law of Conservation of Mass It states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. For example, reaction of one molecule zinc react with one molecule of sulfur to form one molecule of zinc sulfide. Law of Definite Proportions This law was given by a French chemist, Joseph Prost. He stated that a given compound always contains exactly the same proportion of elements by weight. In formation of water compound, the ratio of the mass of hydrogen to the mass of oxygen is always 1 is to 8, whatever the source of water. Law of Multiple Proportions This law was proposed by John Dalton in 1803. According to this law, if two elements can combine to form more than one compound, the masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. Example, 100 grams of carbon may react with 133 grams of oxygen to produce CO or with 266 grams of oxygen to produce CO2. The ratio of the masses of oxygen that can react with 100 grams of carbon is 266 is to 133 or approximately 2 is to 1, a ratio of small whole numbers. Gay-Lussac's Law of Gases Volumes This law was given by Gay-Lussac in 1808. He observed that when gases combine, or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided all gases are at same temperature and pressure. Thus, 100 ml of hydrogen combine with 50 ml of oxygen to give 100 ml of water vapor. Hydrogen plus oxygen gives water. 100 ml plus 50 ml gives 100 ml. Thus, the volumes of hydrogen and oxygen which combine together, that is, 100 ml and 50 ml, bear a simple ratio of 2 is to 1. Avogadro Law In 1811, Avogadro proposed that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules. Avogadro made a distinction between atoms and molecules which is quite understandable in the present time. If we consider again the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce water, we see that two volumes of hydrogen combine with one volume of oxygen to give two volumes of water without leaving any unreacted oxygen. Dalton's Atomic Theory Dalton proposed the following points. 1. Matter consists of indivisible atoms. 2. All the atoms of a given element have identical properties including identical mass. Atoms of different elements differ in mass. 3. Compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio. 4. Chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms. These are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Atomic mass and average atomic mass. One atomic mass unit 
is defined as a mass exactly equal to one twelfth the mass of one carbon twelve atom, and one am unit is equal to one point six six zero five six into ten raised to the power minus twenty four gram. Mass of an atom is equal to one point six seven three six into ten raised to the power minus twenty four gram of hydrogen. Thus, in terms of AMU, the mass of H atom is equal to one point six seven three six into ten raised to the power minus twenty four upon one point six six zero five six into ten raised to the power minus twenty four. Which is equal to one point zero zero seven eight AMU, which equals one point zero zero eight zero AMU. Similarly, the mass of oxygen sixteen sixteen O atom would be fifteen point nine nine five AMU. When we use atomic masses of elements in calculations, we actually use average atomic masses of elements. Example. The average atomic mass of carbon isotopes will come out to be zero point nine eight eight nine two twelve u plus zero point zero one one zero eight thirteen point zero zero three three five u plus two into ten minus twelve fourteen point zero zero three one seven u is equal to twelve point zero one one u. Molecular mass and formula mass. Molecular mass is the sum of atomic masses of the elements present in a molecule. It is obtained by multiplying the atomic mass of each element by the number of its atoms and adding them together. Example: Molecular mass of methane, CH4, is equal to 12.011 u plus 4 into 1.008 u. Is equal to sixteen point zero four three u. Similarly, molecular mass of water H two O is equal to two into atomic mass of H plus one into atomic mass of O is equal to two into one point zero zero eight u plus sixteen point zero zero u, which is equal to eighteen point zero two u. The formula, such as NaCl, is used to calculate the formula mass instead of molecular mass, as in the solid state, sodium chloride does not exist as a single entity. Thus, formula mass of sodium chloride is equal to atomic mass of sodium plus atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 23.0 u plus 35.5 u, which is equal to 58.5 u. Assessment. Percentage composition. The percent composition of a compound is a relative measure of the mass of each different element present in the compound. Calculate the percent composition, percentage composition by weight mass of element is equal to total mass of element present divided by molecular mass into one hundred. Empirical formula and molecular formula. Empirical formula of a compound shows the ratio of elements present in a compound. Molecular formula of a compound shows how many atoms of each element are present in a molecule of the compound. The empirical formula mass of a compound refers to the sum of the atomic masses of the elements present in the empirical formula. The molecular mass, formula mass. Formula weight or molecular weight of a compound is a multiple of the empirical formula mass. Mm is equal to n into empirical formula mass. Empirical formula can be calculated from the percentage or percent composition of a compound. Examples of empirical and molecular formula. If carbon and hydrogen are present in a compound in a ratio of one is to two. The empirical formula for the compound is CH two. The empirical formula mass of this compound is twelve point zero plus two into one point zero, which is equal to fourteen point zero g per mole. 
if we know the molecular mass of the compound is 28.0 g per mole, then we can find the molecular formula for the compound. mm is equal to n into empirical formula mass. 28.0 is equal to n into 14.0. So, n is equal to 2. So, the molecular formula for the compound is 2 into empirical formula, that is, 2 into CH2, which is C2H4. There are many compounds that can have the empirical formula CH2. These include C2H4, ethene or ethylene. Molecular mass is equal to 28.0 and N is equal to 2. C3H6, propene or propylene. Molecular mass is equal to 42.0 and N is equal to 3. Stoichiometry and stoichiometric calculations. Stoichiometry deals with the calculation of masses, sometimes volumes also, of the reactants and the products involved in a chemical reaction. Example, CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O. The coefficients 2 for O2 and H2O are called stoichiometric coefficients. Similarly, the coefficient for CH4 and CO2 is 1 in each case. Thus, according to the above chemical reaction, 1 mole of CH4 reacts with 2 moles of O2 to give 1 mole of CO2 and 2 moles of H2O. 22.4 liter of CH4 reacts with 44.8 liter of O2 to give 22.4 liter of CO2 and 44.8 liter of H2O. 16 gram of CH4 reacts with 2 into 32 gram of O2 to give 44 gram of CO2 and 2 into 18 gram of H2O. Mole concept and molar masses. One mole is the amount of a substance that contains as many particles or entities as there are atoms in exactly 12 gram or 0.012 kg of the 12 carbon isotope. One mole is known as Avogadro constant denoted by Na. Hence, so many entities, atoms, molecules or any other particle constitute one mole of a particular substance. Or we can say that one mole of H atoms is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. One mole of water molecules is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 water molecules. The mass of one mole of a substance in grams is called its molar mass. Molar mass of water is equal to 18.02 gram. Molar mass of sodium chloride is equal to 58.5 gram. Reactions in solutions The concentration of a solution or the amount of substance present in its given volume can be expressed in any of the following ways. 1. Mass percent or weight percent 2. Mole fraction 3. Molality 4. Molarity Terms expressed concentrations. Percent composition by mass. We can consider percent by mass or weight percent as it is sometimes called in two ways. The parts of solute per 100 parts of solution. The fraction of a solute in a solution multiplied by 100. Percentage by mass is equal to mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100. Molarity Molarity tells us the number of moles of solute in exactly 1 liter of solution. Note that molarity is spelled with an R and is represented by a capital M. Molarity is equal to mass of solute upon volume of solution liter. Molality Molality tells us the number of moles of solute dissolved in exactly one kilogram of solvent and represented by 
a lowercase m. Molality is equal to mass of solute upon mass of solution, kilogram. Mole fraction. The mole fraction, x, of a component in a solution is the ratio of the number of moles of that component to the total number of moles of all components in the solution. x a is equal to moles of a upon moles of a plus moles of b. x b is equal to moles of b upon moles of a plus moles of b. Assessment Did you know, according to modern...